Hi guys, a couple of quick tips for you here on freeform modeling in Inventor. So tip number one is going to be how we can get nice rounded edges like this without messing up the shape of an initial box shape. Might not be immediately obvious. Tip number two is going to be a selection tip. And tip number three is going to be the general order of operations in which we do things in freeform modeling in Inventor to not mess up the previous operations. So let's jump in. Tip number one is uh, how to get nice rounded edges on boxes like this. So if I am to uh, draw myself an initial box shape using this uh, center point here, let's just drag out the rough shape here. I'll type in parameters for that if I want to. Type in a um, parameter for this one if I want to. Let's get a thickness of this box of 50 mil. Um, let's get enough faces to add the complexity that I will want uh, at a later point. Let's just put eight faces in that direction um, and let's just make it symmetrical in the length, in the, in the width across there. Um, so now, how do I get a nice rounded shape with this? Well, there is a, a match, um, match edge function which I could use to match to a sketch curve. Um, that can be a bit tricky with lining up the start and end point of the curves that you're matching. So um, a, another useful method here is we're going to use edit form and uh, there's a little tip to help avoid the problem that we're getting here. So if I drag a box round, I want to get a nice rounded edge here. You can see that that's going to not give me the rounded edge dragging a box round there. Um, so let's hit escape out of that one. If I use edit form again and try and drag the edge around, so double clicking on this edge here allows me to select the entire edge. Um, if I try and drag that in plane, then it works up to a point. It will work up to we start moving on to other faces here and then we get a problem. So that will give me a rounded edge up to there. If I start going much further, then I get this kind of problem occurring and the edge is no longer rounded. So um, how about if I wanted a 250 mil rounded edge here? How do I accomplish that? Well, what I need to do is just use this soft modification tick box here. So I took that. That will then enable me to specify how far I want this change to affect the model. So um, if I say, for instance, 250 millimeters, I say the effect um, of me dragging this edge around should only propagate 250 mil through the model from this point. So if I now drag myself a box, you see I get a much cleaner, um, much further reaching um, effect. And if I um, as careful as possible, I should be able to get an almost perfect um, semi uh, quarter circle here, fillet of 250 mil rad. Um, and then, of course, I could match an edge to it afterwards if I wanted to, um, as long as I've made sure that my start and end, end points are coincident with the, with the sketch curve I'm going to be matching to, um, which they would be in this case. Um, so I'm just going to say OK to that. If we look at the profile of the edge that I've created here, if I just move the camera up here, you can see that that is, it goes to a, a bit sharper point as you go around the corner, but actually that's not too bad at all. And I'm pretty happy with that as a starting point. So that's tip number one is the soft modification. Tip number two is a selection tip. You saw a moment ago, you're probably already aware that you can double click on an edge to select the whole loop of those edges. So if I double click there, I select that whole loop. You can keep on going and hit control and double click and select lots of loops. That if you you know pick one an edge like this, that will only go up until it hits a T junction and then it'll stop. Um, but you might not be aware that you can um, do sort of in between selection with that method. So if I select this edge here, hit control and select that edge there then I can select the edges in between by hitting control and selecting in between the edges, which would then enable me to quickly select a whole sort of a range of edges in order to do some kind of operation um, like that. Okay, so I hope you find that useful. And the third um, thing to quickly chat about is the order in which you do operations. If you wanted to create a, uh, a shape, something like this slightly suspect um, chair shape we've got here, um, what order would you do it in? Well, I'd suggest you do the rounded, get the overall profile right first, and then I'd probably get the um, the sweep of uh, this this profile here in, and then I'd probably bend it all afterwards. Um, that's just my thoughts on the topic. If I show you what I mean here, I'm just going to hit edit form. Um, 
get an initial slight angle on that there by dragging this round in plane. And then I might do the same. Um, I might do the same by dragging here and saying edit form and then getting a slightly larger angle on that. Okay, nice to give me a nice smooth angle all the way through if that's what I want. And then I could put the overall bend on the chair if that's what I want as well. So I'll pick the, those faces there, say edit form, um, drag that round. Looks a little bit suspect at first, of course, but if I drag that round here, it's not going to look too bad. Obviously, I can have a lot more of a play around with that as well. Um, I'll say OK. I want to extend these faces out here now. So I'll just pick that edit form, extend those out. OK, and then I could use one of my previous tips, which would be, you know, if I select that edge there, select that edge there with control and then control and double click, I can do something like dragging those edges out and start having a play around with how how the front of the chair looks as well. Okay, I hope you find some of these useful. Thanks a lot for checking it out.